Tony does it again. The Korean Messi strikes once again in a Spurs game. And this time, Spurs took on Everton at Wembley and we destroyed them 4-0. Now, as you can tell by this video going up, I couldn't go to the game this weekend. And that's because I'm kind of, as you can tell, stuck here at uni. So the next game that I will be able to attend personally will be Man United at home on the 31st. So if any of you are there and uh, want to see me when I'm there, want to maybe be in the vlog, go check out my Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I announce almost everything there. But now the plug's done, let's get into the football and talk about some spectacular performance by Son Al and Harry Kane. So we arrived at Wembley with a very, very strong side with Lloris in goal, Ori at the right back, with Vertonghen, Sanchez and Davis as our back four, which for me personally is our best back four that we have without obviously Alderweireld who is currently injured. And then in midfield we've got Dyer and Dembele which I think is the perfect two to be in the middle, especially while when Yama's coming back into full fitness. Then obviously, obviously we've got the desk as the front four, Dele Alli, Ericsson, Sonny, and Kane. Now that attack is frightening and as well as Everton found out yesterday when we absolutely destroyed them with a sunny goal, Kane another two goals and an Ericsson goal with a Deli Ali assist. And not gonna lie, I was going into the game very, very optimistic. I predicted 3-1 Spurs. Uh, for some reason, I kind of still saw them scoring because obviously they've got the new striker. Rooney's great. You could kind of see Gilfie getting a goal possibly in the game. But no, nah, defence was solid yesterday. Managed to stop them from scoring. And then we just let our attack capitalise. And who else than Son to get another goal, which makes him, what, eight goals in the Premier League so far? The exact same as Lacazette. Arsenal's main striker, who bear in mind Arsenal lost today to Bournemouth, so woohoo! Arsenal's main striker has the same amount of goals as Son who is currently playing in the left mid for us. Oh, what does that tell you about that then? But well, honestly, like you guys know how much I love Sun and not gonna lie, I wanna bring my Here Comes the Sun series back because the guy is just insane. But for him to put another stellar performance to get man of the match, for Kane to now score 98 goals in the Premier League, he overtook Jermaine Defoe, Robbie Keane and Teddy Sheringham all in the space of like two weeks. The guy is officially going to be a legend at the club and I hope he stays here forever. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think Kane's gonna stay or do you think Real Madrid are going to come through with a cheeky 300, 400 million bid for him? Or actually, that's a better question to ask. How much would you be willing to let Kane go for? For me, it's nothing. Like, there's, you're never going to find this kind of player in this generation again. Like, we're, we're going to struggle without him, and we have to just do our best, give him whatever he wants, okay? Whatever he wants, and then that's cool. Deal sorted. So now, talking about the actual game, one thing that we did, which was actually kind of surprising, we don't normally do this. Normally, we control the game as we were doing against Everton, and we just can't find a goal. And then what happens? The opposition scores, and we panic. This is exactly exactly what happened at West Ham at Wembley the other week. Now what we did differently this time is actually get a goal early and it was a good goal as well, not gonna lie, my boy, my boy getting a great goal to start off with and as soon as that one went in then the floodgates were open. Four goals in that game kind of put a lot more pressure onto the top four. We are now sitting, still fifth in the league, but we are now only three points behind Chelsea, Liverpool and United. Bear in mind United still have to play tomorrow, but three points. It's been a great weekend for Spurs all round and it's great to see Son get man of the match again, getting more goals. So I know it's kind of brief and that was just like a, a tiny little overview of what I thought of the players in the game. I thought the football was brilliant and let's not forget the sunny, the sunny turn for the assist to Kane. The little whoops, see you later to Kenny, went darting off, ball in, and, and, and Kane may have been offside. But nonetheless, that was still a great move leading up to all of that. And let's not forget Ericsson's goal. Son, little flick onto Deli Alli. Deli Alli, little flick back to Ericsson. Ericsson, bink, left side of the goal, finished all over for them. Now since I'm bringing THFC Talks back, I'm doing a new section and this is going to be called hashtag fan talks. So I asked a lot of you on Twitter, which by the way, if you want to be involved in this video at all in the future, go follow me on my Twitter. My link will be in the description below. But here I just asked you a lot of questions about the game, what you thought, and I'm just going to be reading them out and giving my feedback back to you. Okay, so for the first comment, we have... We have head... Head... Akif Hassan, that's basically him, okay, him. He said, with the hashtag THFC Talks, I think we can, we were good on the day and can maybe get third this season and only three points behind Chelsea, I think. Okay, so first of all, yeah, we're three points behind Chelsea, we're three points behind Liverpool and United, obviously United, like I said, United got a game to play and he thinks that we're gonna finish third this season now. To be honest, being that close behind second, I 
definitely, definitely think we can challenge again to be up there. And for me, it all depends on what happens to City now. After they lost today against Liverpool, will they collapse or won't they? So I want you to leave some comments in the section below, letting me know where you think Spurs are going to finish this season. And for me personally, I definitely think we can push for second again. But third is not a bad shout. Thank you very much for your comment. Next comment is from Dom, who says, Great all-round team performance, champagne football, hashtag common you Spurs, hashtag TAJFC talks. Now, I know Mr. Expressions oozing sauce would be happy with that one, with the champagne football, yeah! Man, that game was, that was one of my favourite games to watch for Spurs, and I'm really, really gutted I wasn't at that one. But don't worry, I'll be back, and the videos will be flowing out with the vlog soon, and I agree. Great performance. Next we have Anton who says, Son is the most underrated player in the Premier League. That I can agree on. There was a video earlier about Rio Ferdinand and I think it was Jermaine Genius talking earlier about how underrated Son is and fully. There were very few players in the Premier League that is doing what Son is doing. Right? Obviously you've got the wingers like Sane, Sterling. These are all very fast paced players. Where Son maybe isn't actually fast, he is very, very tricky with his feet and very difficult for defenders to deal with. And when he gets that ball on the edge of the box and he goes for a shot, you know eight times out of ten that is going in the back of the net. The guy is that good and highly underrated. I just hope no one else comes and poaches him. Please. Please. Here we have Harrison who says, We were playing like Barca, Everton got spanked. Now, I hope we did play like Barca because they are destroying it in the league at the moment. And I can only agree. Like I said, the midfield was perfect today. The balls were getting to and from the defenders to the attackers perfectly to create some beautiful counter attacks. And the one flick touch football that we saw leading to Ericsson's goal was phenomenal. And I just hope we can use that kind of football again in games like the Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Juventus games that we all have in the space of two weeks. Moving on to the final. Final comment of this THFC Talks episode, and this is from Sydney who says, Who would you like to see us sign before the transfer window closes? The players that I wanted to sign, I personally would rather Sessignon over Luke Shaw, just because there's a few more years left in him, and Sessignon's got like the most hat tricks for a left back or whatever. Bear in mind, he's 17 and is doing bits for Fulham, so I'll take him for left back as a possible replacement for Danny Rose if he's gone. And I also want a fast winger, so in that position, personally, again, I'd say Zaha just for his, his age and pace and trickery the guy would be insane under underneath potch leave a comment down below who you think we're gonna sign in this january transfer window or possibly in the summer okay that's it that wraps up this episode of thfc talks i have not done this for a while i'm kind of happy to do this again using my new camera and the whole setup as soon as my exams are done videos are going to be rolling out quick time so if you want to be in these kind of videos then follow me on those socials go ahead it, it's free just i mean why not and you know what's free subscribe down below that would be great Leave a like. I'll see you guys later. Come on, you Spurs. Peace.